If you're not caught up on this story, CJ So Cool got dumped by royalty again after a woman posted a picture of herself kissing CJ. Family is gone. It's true. It's very true. And this time, I'm going to be very different. And so I'm going to just start this video off by saying, pray for us, guys. That's, that's what I'm going to say. I'm not going to say anything else. I messed up as usual. But I ain't saying I cheated. I'm saying I messed up. But I ain't cheat, and I definitely didn't kiss anybody. Nope. All right, you can see in the picture I didn't kiss anybody. I was taking a picture with two fans. Is it my fault that they took a adult picture? They're grown. I'm not going to stop them. Now, I did speak to this young lady, and she was very nice. She didn't want to do an interview, but she did answer some questions in the DM. Now, my first question was, was this the first time you met CJ So Cool? She responded, yes, we met him that night at the restaurant. Then I go on to ask her, people are allegedly saying that he was flirting with you. She said, CJ was definitely not trying to flirt with us. If anything, he was a perfect gentleman the whole time. Now, I want to know, why did y'all even take the picture? She responded back, my daughter watches videos. I thought it would be cool to take a picture with him to show my daughter nothing else. Now, I did look on her page, and she does have a young daughter i should have asked the age but she looks like she could be around like eight or nine or something like that but what she did say is that people found her daughter instagram and now they're attacking the daughter so please stop attacking the daughter now the main question everybody wants to know is why did she kiss him in the picture now according to her she took several pictures but for some reason that particular picture went viral we all know why it went viral she responded back i didn't kiss him i turned my face and blew a kiss at him something i do in pictures no harm now i did look on her instagram and there is another picture where she was blowing a kiss in the picture she wasn't physically kissing that person but she was blowing a kiss so it is something that she does in her pictures no home innocent she's a supporter it didn't mean anything and i think we need to leave this woman alone because a lot of people are attacking this woman and her daughter in the dms and on her page i also asked her what happened after the picture because some people were allegedly saying that they had dinner together and she said we took the picture and went back to our own table now she blocks cj so cool because she doesn't want anything to do with this situation anymore she really wants to put this to rest and that's why she pretty much answered majority of my questions which i appreciate her for that now let's go on with the story recently cj so cool posted a picture of his eye messed up again he said it was due to boxing but yesterday he commented underneath a video of Krishan punching blueface in the face several times and he commented that's what happened to me so obviously some things are happening behind the scenes between cj so cool and royalty and they probably desperately need this break i know she left because quote unquote the picture but i think it has a lot to do with everything that happened this year period you got the nike situation then you had the $300 with the TikTok girl I think she just reached her peak and I think it's best that they just stay apart I know the picture was innocent I know he didn't mean no harm by it but I think instead of her rushing back to the house and moving back in so quickly I think she needs to take this time and reevaluate her life step away from social media for about a week or two and just enjoy life alone you get so caught up in social media that you're not even yourself anymore every time i see royalty on the camera she looks like a zombie like she's zoned out she looks like she's somewhere else and she doesn't want to be there y'all leave y'all comments down below let me know what y'all think when it comes to that <laughs> shut up nation guys we've been out here for a long time man this lady right here man she drunk and she hit us I don't know, man. It's just, man, it's just, it's just all bad. Now let's talk about Zoe because a TikToker has some things to say about him. I used to really love Zoe, but now he's just annoying. Like, he's not funny no more. Yeah, he still can dance and he seems cool as fuck. But he is not funny no more. I'm sorry. He's lame. This young lady is very beautiful, but I don't know what the hell she's talking about. Zoe is an amazing person. He's funny as hell. Had me on the floor dying through all the lives. Okay. I don't know what she sees. Maybe the humor is not humoring her. I don't know what you going through, sis. But sis, this ain't it. Oh my God. I didn't, I didn't know I called myself a comedian. I just picked up my phone like any other average Joe and just made videos and by golly gee, people start gravitating to me. I will never call myself a comedian. I'm just Lil Ozo. Good God almighty gee. Ooh. Well, <laughs> I guess I need to pack it up. <laughs> Love me when you get a one in the moons. I'ma just wait till you finish. Cause you make it bright when it's dimmish. I see the light in your spirit. You my spiritual healer. I felt the evil of woman. And it made me indifferent. Should have been treating you different.